Ooh, y'all tripping. So anyway, your underlying energy is the eight of cups. Underneath that is the emperor. Okay, somebody is super stubborn here. And you have a four of wands underneath that. So anyway, the higher your underlying energy is about what you're not interested in, pretty much. What's not what's not interesting, what's not satisfying, what is not your cup of tea, underneath that is the emperor. So you're not really looking to compromise that at all. I feel like there has been some things that maybe somebody's been really stuck on. Someone's not looking to compromise. Someone's not looking to open up and to hear a different perspective. Someone's been super stubborn and not really up to negotiations. And that's working your damn nerves, probably. So you're not interested in anything now. Like, you're just like, you know what you don't want to deal with. And there's somebody that's not willing to cooperate with you. Fair enough. Now, the heart of your reading here is the Five of Wands. So there has been some conflicts here. The challenge is like people going back and forth with you, having different opinions, which is not a problem. I think it's cool to have different opinions. And I think that you think that's the same thing. Um, maybe, right? Sometimes there's some things you don't necessarily think is a, a smart choice, but hey, you know, there's, that's the people that you deal with, right? And, you know, you know, you just know better. But the thing is, that the, with the Five of Wands, it's like, yeah, it's been intense. It's been, you know, back and forth. And it's just like, yeah, this is a good time to kind of shift things up, change the foundation, do a lot of that good changing craziness that we love to do as human beings. But the thing is that now I think there's a lot of arguing, but there's not a lot of interest in what's being argued because this, <laughs> this is a apathetic energy. Somebody's not interested in having the conversations that are needed to have to have some sort of change of you know for the better i feel like there's a lot of like okay we're having the same old conversations that we had a long time ago we've had this conversation before but you ain't doing this well you, i'm doing that and you just like you're not really engaging or i'm not doing this anyway we have the same fucking conversation over and over again i feel like so much you guys have been going through virgos you've been going through a situation with somebody that you've been constantly You've been constantly telling them, telling them like what you need, what is different, what you need to change up. Like you've been constantly going through that. And if this is for you guys personally, you don't have anybody in your life. This is your conversation with yourself. What you have, what you, you know, you're just kind of getting more apathetic about certain situations because it's kind of showing up to be the same thing, no matter how much you've changed. Well, how much have you really changed internally though? That's the big question, right? If nothing's really changed with you know, around you, then that means it's something that needs to change within yourself. But I think it's just like there is there is a lot of emphasis or focus on something else. There's a lot of the same thing because there hasn't been a shift of focus. Right? There's somebody that's stuck in an energy that they don't necessarily want to be in, but they haven't they haven't gotten up to change or to see something else. To explore something different. Now the underlying, excuse me, the foundation is the two of swords. So there was a difficult situation and I feel like there was a hard choice that one person had to make here. I feel like it was you guys, obviously. And I feel like you guys had a, you know, you guys were having a hard time making a decision about what you guys wanted, you know, taking action on a certain decision. I think there was a lot of difficulty and you guys were just trying to keep the balance because it was just like, if you have to say it, it's going to cause a problem. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may have just gotten tired of having arguments with people or you just was just like you know what you'll do yourself but the thing is it just eventually got too much because obviously you can't hold these swords forever so now that's kind of kicked off to something new something different i think there's a lot of flames and fire coming up and i don't know if it's the exciting happy sexy time sexy passionate time as i would think as i would like for you guys i feel like it's something different i feel like there's a lot more passion in the like fiery let's argue about it first and portion you know I feel like there's a new beginning, but there's like, there's a lot of conflicts that come with that. But it's also brought up a lot of fire between, I think it maybe has got a little bit sexy with you guys. Like I think, you, you know, you know, making this decision was the best decision for the both of you guys because you guys see each other, see that fiery passion and that is sexy in itself, right? Yeah, I think you guys are like aware of your guys' fire and that's really, it's hot. But then that's the same thing, right? I don't know if it has been really sexy, but it may have been, but it may not been. Like, I think you guys are both aware of what's, what's lacking, which is the fire in the both of you. A new beginning regarding finding your passions, finding what's creative. And I feel like it's kind of like, okay, well, well, what are we doing? Because you have the four of cups crossing the stage of the wants, which is also crossing the future, which is the 10 of pentacles, long-term commitment, stability, legacy, building a legacy or the legacy coming into fruition, family, friends, um, abundance, commitment. I think you recommit to you. I feel like you feel like you're going to recommit to this relationship because you are both aware of what is not working. You're both aware of what's not clicking and you guys feel the same way about it. 
I think you guys both feel the same way about it. So your goal, aim, ambition is the five of cups, which talks about shifting your focus again. It gives again another shifting focus, but really it's talking about what is lost, what's missing, what's not there. Like this is not going to be how it's going to be, right? It's not always going to, fo the, the relationship is not always going to emphasize what's not there. You can always emphasize what's not there, but it's up to you as well to focus and shift your focus back to what the relationship has to offer, back to what you guys can do within this relationship. You guys are actually the king and queens of finding solutions. And I feel like right now you guys just don't know what the hell to do. And that's the most frustrating thing is that you guys don't ever have anything. You guys, now, you guys don't ever not have anything. That's what I mean. You guys don't ever have a solution, not have a solution, excuse me. You guys are good at finding solutions. That's just your thing. That's your lingo. Anybody has a problem, you're quick to giving them a solution, but not yourself. And it's hard because you actually wanted to probably make this situation work and you still do, but at the same time, you don't know what else to do. You don't really know what's, you know, you have, it's like, you've, like you've already been through that. You've already been through that. You've already been through that. Like what other thing is out there? Like you don't even know what to do. And I feel like it's because something's lost, something's missing, somebody's like, there's some sort of lack of support here, but the situation is like, the, the, the focus, the solution is the two, of, the two of cups, the relationship. The probably the reason why you're having a hard time finding solutions to anything right now is because you're not feeling the connection that you got, or you're not, the emphasis is not on the relationship. The relationship is what probably needs to shift, it needs to change. Now the two of cups is in your external energy, which is obviously this relationship or this connection with you, that you have with someone. You know, it's it's the perfect connection, but it also talks about how someone feeling the same way about you. So if you have anything that you're feeling, if you're feeling anything right now, guys, your immediate answer is like if you have because one of the things too that, that kind of annoys me um, is that a lot of people, even though I have in my stuff my pre booking for information, that I do not do spy readings. I do not look at other people's emotions or business because that's not who I am. I don't look at people's stuff. I'm not a snitch. I don't do that. So, and it's a call, so a karmic violation. I am not trying to get backlash in my next life. I'm trying to clean up karma in my life right now. My South Node is Pisces. I don't need no more karma. Okay. So, either, anyway. I, it's, it was annoying to me is that when I'm, especially when they ask me, like, how does this person feel about them? And I already tell them, like, like they have the two of cups. They feel however you feel about them. So usually they don't like that answer because they don't know how the hell they, what the hell they feel in the first place. So that's the thing, y'all. Like, if you are not sure of what you feel, then you don't know how they, how the other person feels. Cause they're, then, well, here's the thing. You automatically do know. Cause they're just as fucking confused as you are. You know what I mean? That's what, the, that's what the, that's what frustrates me. The tarot reader is like, okay, how do you feel about them? Cause they feel the same way about you. So if you don't know how you feel, they don't probably know how they feel about you. That's makes it, That's why they're in your life to help you figure out what you feel. Cause the king of cups is in the outcome, right? And it's, I feel like right now you guys are feeling very apathetic at the moment. Not for anybody's fault, not your fault. It's not an accusation or anything like that. So it's just a state of fact, right? You just, you know what you don't like with this relationship. It hasn't been getting you anything. It's barely, it's like the excitement is coming up now, but because, you know, I think maybe there's just a lot of conflict and more so than anything. The excitement is through the fighting rather than anything else, the attraction, because, and I feel like you guys are just having a hard time finding solutions to how to get that fire up, what you can do to get that situation back going again, right? Because this Ace of Ace of Wands and the Four of Cups, they're contradicting energies. This is apathetic, nothing. You ain't feeling nothing. And then Eight of Cups don't help that because that means an, an emotional drain. And then you have the Ace of Wands in your present. Like, okay, there's a potential for a new opportunity with excitement and everything like that, but there isn't, you're not seeing it that way because there's not, you know, there's nothing really going on that's really exciting. Just a lot of frustration, a lot of dead ends. And I feel like the reason why you may have a dead end right now is that you don't know what you want. You don't know what you feel. If you figure out what it is that you want and how you feel about what you've got going on right now, that will help you be able to make something new to get to this ace of pentacles. Oh, sorry, five of, ten of pentacles. No breakup. I don't see any breakups here. Now I'm just going to say that really fast, really fast. There is no breakups here. None. But I do see that some people are getting frustrated with how things have been. And it's, people are getting tired of it. 
they're feeling stuck and they're not doing anything. That's why I had, that's why that high priestess came out in the beginning. Somebody just stopped doing stuff because they're just like, you know what? If everything's going to be the same thing, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be engaging. I'm not going to interact. I'm done with it. And it's like, okay, well, if you do that, then why are you in the relationship in the first place? You might just well cut it off because you're not doing anything. Now, I don't know if that's just you. I don't know if that's the other person. There's somebody just, and it may, may be quite, maybe just quiet now. But that's the thing. You, that is not a healthy way of doing stuff. Being passive aggressive is not healthy. And I don't know if you guys are victims of being passive, uh, victims of passive aggression. Um, because of this emperor card that's underneath here, somebody may be trying to manipulate people, but the emperor doesn't, it's not manipulative energy. He just doesn't night, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't listen to anybody. <laughs> that's the thing, that's the only problem. He doesn't like to compromise, he doesn't like to listen to other opportunities. I'll listen to other things, uh, different ways of thinking. He doesn't like any of that. He likes his own way, his own way of doing things. And now if you're like that, if you have a certain way of thinking and you're not looking to compromise, then that may be the problem. You may just want to compromise it right now. Or consider a different way of thinking or consider a different opportunity. Maybe. Because a lot of this is all about considering. Consider this. Consider this. Because right now, shifting the focus is important. And then your goal and ambition, shifting the focus is important. The two of pentacles in your external energy, you guys are feeling the same way about your new beginning. So however you feel, the other person feels. And I feel like how you guys are feeling about this, it's not very excited. This new beginning, this ace of wands, it has to do with your relationship. The external energy is showing so. The full focus of reasons why you are not able to find solutions, why you're not able to feel excited, why you're not feeling very driven to do much, has to do with the relationship. Not that the relationship is the culprit. That doesn't mean that there isn't a solution within this relationship because it's saying to focus the attention on how you on the relationship on the connection focus the energy on the connection right now this not saying to break up with anybody to cut it loose none of that but the situation is where the heart is and where you spend most of your time with and who you share the uh, share emotions with which has to do with your other person now your outcome really fast before i just quickly skip in do some wisdom of the oracle you have the king of cups so i like this because after all of this you do come back to love you do resort back to love this could be a cancer pisces scorpio though um this could be someone else that's just your love but you do also end up knowing what you want you may end up knowing what you want here this may be you this could be someone else though this person becomes more romantic more emotionally open or somebody that is you know that's you know very romantic like i guess before I really feel like this is you guys. You're just able to control how you feel. But most importantly, you know what you want. You know what you're going after. And that's what builds this relationship up. This revitalizes it. Because at first, you don't know what you want. You just like, you just know what you don't want. You know what I mean? You know what you're dissatisfied with. But what's, what do you want in the relationship? And that's the thing. Shift your focus from what you don't want to what you do want. And that is what will help you. Because right now, there's something you don't desire from this relationship. And that's not really helping anybody out. Especially not yourself. You know what I mean? Alright, Virgo. Let's see what's happening. Round and round. Okay, this talks about a situation coming back around. Like a situation that's... Like a, a situation that hasn't been quite integrated in yet. Like a situation that's... Like, it's almost like a situation, like I was saying before, like, I don't know if you've had arguments with a person or with, with your partner, and it's the same old BS over and over again. Like, you're constantly arguing with this person, and like, hey, look, I told you a million times, we've talked about it a million times, why are we still here? Why are we still here? And it's probably because there's something about the situation for you that you have to learn, right? It's never the other person's fault, and it's never your fault, but there's something here that it hasn't really sank in yet. There's some sort of lesson that's trying, that, you know, the universe is trying to get you to grasp. And it's, like, maybe this, that's why it's happening over and over again. That's probably why, um, like, why you feel like you're constantly in a situation where it's the same old thing. It's because there's something that you may be missing. Now, again, remember, please, it's not your fault or anything like that but it is something that you may be missing so you have to shift your focus from what has been going on to what you may need to do differently okay let me see what's going on here with your cards with the whispers of love oh embrace your emotions don't push down your emotions your feelings or judge your emotions virgo 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 yes this is your card today this is your card for this week this week is going to be one hell of a rocky boat, okay? This month is going to be a rocky boat. 
Venus is going to go retrograde. We're all going to have some relationship stuff. But the thing here is, guys, during this process, you do not want to shut your emotions down. You don't want to deny them. You don't want to shut them up. You don't want to decline them. You want to embrace what you do not like, but you also want to also embrace what you do like. Do what you find what you want. Embrace your emotions. That's why I see them in the outcome. That's why I said, I said this was you. That's what I felt. I felt like it could be somebody else. It could be someone new. It could be your ideal lover. But this is you. This is who you. This is what you want. You know what you want. The King of Cups knows what he wants. And I feel that as you guys. This round and round cycle thing that you guys are going through. This is to help you find out what it is that you want. Because you've been in relationships perhaps that have been constantly getting out your damn nerves. Constantly giving you the same BS. And constantly being something that you don't desire. But what do you want? You know? What do you really want? What is what is your dream? What is your ideal person? Take the time out to figure it out. Don't don't figure it out by focusing on it, what it is that you don't want. You already know what you don't want. You, you've made a list and it's in your head, it's in green. What do you want? Focus on what you want. Because if you focus on what you don't want, then you'll always have problems with making decisions. You always have situations that have come up the same. And the reasons why is because you have yet to figure out what it is that you want. Know what you want, then go for it. Know what you want, then make it happen in the relationship that you've got. You can't make somebody do anything that you don't, they didn't want to do. You can only control yourself. And if you change yourself to the person that you want to be in your relationship, in your relationships, you will attract that person. If this is the person that's in your life right now, perfect. If it's not, then it's okay. Because that person that's truly meant to be for you will come in but you have to know what you want first you can't find the person that you want by knowing what you don't want it's good it's a good place to start but you have to figure out now what it is that you do want it's a hard thing to do trust me i'm in the same boat it's hard for me to do but we can do it it's v venus retrograde we're going to go through a lot of stuff we wish we didn't have to go through again especially when it comes to relationships to help us figure out what it is that we do want to strengthen our ability to manifest love money everything but we have to be in the mindset of positivity and i don't and being negative is fine as long as it's not keeping you from being able to strengthen your life if you're constantly in a state of negativity and you don't really want to see the a goodness of a situation then you have a problem right we all have a problem at that point but the situation is that you have to find the good attributes of your relationship. You have to find the parts of yourself that you enjoy, the parts of a relationship that you would like to just like to do experience. And if you can figure that out, you're golden. You hear me? You're golden.